In this video, we will look at uh, range sum of a binary search tree. So let's see the problem statement. So we have a binary search tree. So all the nodes uh, in the left subtree of a given node will be less than the current node. And all nodes in the right subtree will be larger than the current node. So uh, here you are given a range. For example, the range can be 7 to 15. And this is inclusive range. So 7 is included, 15 is included. So what you have to do, you have to return a value, return the sum of values of all the nodes. So a node has left, right and val. So you have to visit all the nodes, check if it lies in this range, inclusive. So even if the value is 7, it should be included. Uh, if it lies in this range, then you add it to the result. Otherwise, you ignore that node. So you have to return the final sum. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need uh, a way of doing traversal of a binary search tree. So any of the traversal methods is fine, whether you do pre-order, post-order, in-order, or even level order, any order you prefer, you must visit all the nodes. So first, let's write the code for uh, the traversal, and then we will slightly modify that to solve this problem. So let's say our function is find sum and we are given root. So in traversal, we are just given root. So first let's complete traversal. So what we do? So if uh, root is null, then we return. And then what we do? We widget. So whatever is the function, or we can print root well then what we do I am doing pre-order you can do any other traversal as well then we do the same function find some root left then find some root right and this is the the traversal function is complete now uh, instead of just visiting it, we have to also calculate the sum. So let's modify it. And this would return int. So if root is null, then uh, you should return 0. So you are asking that find the values of all the nodes having uh, values in the range, low and high. In this case, low is 7, high is 15. So the node is empty, then the value is 0. There is no node. So this remains same else you create a local variable to store the result. So initialize it with 0 and instead of just printing the root value, you check if root value is less than equal to high and greater than equal to low. Then Instead of printing it, we will add it to the result. Result plus equal to root val. Next, result plus equal to find some root left. And here there are extra parameters high and low, which will remain same in all the calls. Else result plus equal to find sum this and result plus equal to find sum right subtree. So very simple. If you write any traversal code, you reach a given node and then from there you reach all the other child nodes. So instead of just printing the value, you check whether that lies in this range, then add it to result. If it doesn't lie in that range, this line will not be executed and it will not be added to result. So in the end, when this traversal completes, you would have accumulated all the values having uh, values in that range. Now let's write the code for this. If root val is less than equal to high and root val 
greater than equal to low then result plus equal to root val root plus equal to the same function and we return results so this is same as pre order traversal uh so the answer is wrong let's see sorry not root result i don't so it uh, should be result root is the node pointer and our solution is accepted so i hope uh, you understood it